What's going on guys? It's Chris Chaos back here with another shoot, if you want to call it that. I'm going to refer it to that, although this shoot is not going to be not nearly as intense and violent as uh, some of my other shoots. Uh, this is going to be just a shoot straight from straight from the heart and straight from the mind, straight from the soul. Uh, for those of you that that uh, that that saw the comments, uh, there was a certain somebody. I'm not going to mention any names because I don't want anybody to jump all over this guy's throat or you know whatever. And uh, uh, he wanted me to make a reason uh, a video of reasons why I hate Hulk Hogan, and so I'm going to. Now I've compiled a list of 14 specific uh, scenarios as to why I hate Hulk Hogan. But uh, because it would it would be a really long video and you wouldn't want to watch it, uh, and I don't want to make it and I don't want to upload it because it'd take a really long time. Uh, we're gonna do this rather short. Uh, reason one: Hogan's a douchebag. He just is. Uh, his time in WWE, his last two little runs, if you want to call them that, or his last two uh, one-off appearances, uh, he was a douchebag to everybody. Uh, he come in thinking he was king shit, bigger than anybody that was there, and you know maybe maybe he is, but still he didn't have to act like that. Uh, carry yourself with a little bit of class. Uh, I.e., look at uh, the CM Punk, what he said about Hogan on the uh, the Stone Cold Steve Austin, the most pop, the the bottom line on the most popular superstar of all time uh, DVD, and uh, the Shawn Michaels, what he said on his last DVD about him, uh, is pretty apparent. Uh, two, he still thinks he's the biggest draw. The he still thinks he's as big a draw in 2012 or at in 2011 at Bound for Glory as he was in 1988 or 1992 for that matter uh, he's not uh, and that would that would why do I think that because he thinks that or he thought people was gonna buy TNA's pay-per-view because he was wrestling if you want to call it that he did bump so I give him credit for that uh, Number three, he came in and fucked up TNA. He took the six-sided ring. He didn't focus on any of the, the talent that brought them as far as they had come. Uh, he tried to change up everything in creative. He brought in guys like the Nasty Boys, like uh, uh, Waltman and, and Hall, and people that didn't need to be there. I mean, he did bring in Jeff Hardy and Rob Van Dam, so he did credit there. But uh, when you don't use them properly, uh, which Rob Van Dam has not been used properly up until the time I stopped watching, uh, then it's horrible. The only exception is he did use Jeff Hardy pretty good and give him a nice little title run uh, as Jeff Hardy as a heel, which I thought was just fantastic. And equaled it too when Hogan turned heel, although on a much smaller level. Uh, for having creative control, uh, a creative control clause in your contract uh, makes it all about you. Several instances over the last, I don't know, 20 years, uh, this has come up. Uh, Bret Hart in 1993, he didn't want to do the job to him upon leaving the WWF at the time. Uh, in WCW, several times uh, over a world title. Uh, most notably, over uh, Sting at Halloween Havoc uh, 1999 and the Bash at the Beach against Jeff Jarrett 2000 uh, and then that whole fiasco uh, against Randy Orton against Shawn Michaels in the two one-off appearances uh, and then you know probably all over the Hulkamania tour he didn't want to do a job he wanted to beat Ric Flair uh, anyway uh, number five, failure to do business. This reverts back to four uh, because he fails to, to see anybody else going over except him. Number six, uh, failure to see that the, the, business is, the business is changing, uh, i.e. Uh, SummerSlam 2008 when he said that when he went to the ring, he got the only crowd reaction of the night or that's the way he made it out. 
Uh, that may not have been what he meant, but that's how it sounded, and that's how I and a lot of people took it. Uh, seven, his match with Sting at Bound for Glory, it shouldn't have happened. Uh, even though he probably had something to prove to himself that he could still do it, uh, it was unneeded, and, and it, you took people off the card that needed to be there. That was the biggest card of the year uh, in TNA. He should have been there. Uh, nine, making TNA about him. See my last point. Uh, the end in WCW. See all the other points. Uh, and lastly, his misunderstanding of the tweets I sent him and him having to block me on Twitter because I offended him so badly. Uh, for offending you, I do not apologize. Uh, although, I do apologize if you took what I said the wrong way. Uh, okay, what, maybe I just canceled myself out. But anyway, uh, whatever. I don't care. Uh, I'm not putting a lot of thought into this. This is just off the top of my head. Uh, because if I did research and I could come up with even a hundred more reasons why I hate Hulk Hogan, but uh, what's the point? Why I hate Hulk Hogan, what's the point? Let's be real. Deuces.